Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL Mod Roulette. Uh, I don't know what we did last episode, I don't know what we're going to be doing next episode. Because I'm slotting this one in as a post-end, either dire, like, end of a series, I guess. I'm not quitting FTL, but I'm going to do something afterwards that's warranting me to not keep doing Mod Roulette. So... Yeah, anyway, um, so this is the final random one, I would say, and it's not even a random one, because it is a request. This is the Budge Regar by RFU. who requested me to, you know, give this thing a go. Um, so we shall. So what do we know about this thing? Well, let's have a look at it. While a rather small size transport ship, this Odla variant is modified to carry much more heavier and bulkier cargo. However, it is not suited for combat. Now, I did read a bit about this on the forum post, which I usually do mainly to see if there's something that is important. Um, we'll be seeing that in a bit, uh, when, we think it's, when we get this run started. There's also purchasable artillery. Um, so that's going to be interesting enough, I guess. In any case, uh, let's just get going and we'll see. Outlaw Hunter start the cargo quest line. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm talking about. So you do get a quest line to start, so we will completely ignore that. Huh. No, we won't. Anyway, start the cargo quest line. For the past years, you've been under contract by an outlaw captain. Secretly betrayed your outlaw brethren and have sided with the Federation. However, your ship has been nicely equipped. Most likely not makes the Federation in one piece. However, you've been given a task to collect cargo from ships by your captain, where you would gain one third of the cargo and the rest goes to your captain. All right. Uh, engines are completely warmed up. Let's go. Now, fleet seems to be delayed for now. Okay, so we do get. Uh... <laughs> oh, at least the pilot's doing all right. Ooh, and there's an offset here. All right. Well, um, I think for the time being we'll take this approach, for better or for worse. There's our quest mark, so we'll be moseying over there. Also, um, reject the offer. There will we'll be doing yet one more thing, um, which unfortunately I haven't really prepared very well. Um, eh. um, a week ago on a stream from somebody else who plays FTL, we've been talking about FTL bingo. Mainly like the classic things that happen in FTL. And uh, Aldego, who is a friend of the channel, actually came up with, you know, a thing that could be used for that. So I'll try to keep it in mind as in I'll open up the thing. I can't really show it to you yet. Actually, I think I should be able to do that if I can figure out a way to do that. Um... I mean, I'm gonna have to open this up and paint if I want to make additions or remove stuff from that. Let's see how I should do that in OBS. <laughs> Suppose so. Uh, let's see if I can. I can probably just copy the FTL plus. Oh, great, and now that got all sloopy. Okay, um, add... Sorry, I should have done this earlier, but... Uh, game capture... Add existing FTL... Add... Browser source... Add existing chats... Hey there, Flux. There's the chat window, but it's not... Oh, it's doing that thing again. Um, doesn't seem to rem want to remember this anymore. Appearance. Let's see. Something that I need to do here.
<laughs> uh, let's pause the recording for the time being. Thing is set up. So yes, we do have FTL bingo now. So let's have a look at that, how it looks. Created by uh, Aldigo. So let's see. So if we encounter one of these things, we can cross it off. And the idea is to, you know, get a full line of things. So we are playing in Arsenal, so it's, it's unlikely that we will get this thing. But anyway, what are the things? Encounter Dread Pirate Taco, facing the Beam Master, losing crew through an event, getting a crew member that's good in everything. So that's like a virus or envoy. Running out of fuel, getting caught by the Rebel Fleet, getting a map update way too late. Drones getting destroyed. Probably won't be using drones, so that one might already be out. Uh, to choose one of two sectors. So yeah, having a choice between NG sector or NG sector. Weapon floating in space, an NG border. Clone bay. Do we have a clone bay? Nope. Uh, get hit while cloaked. Ah, that'll work. And then a ship jumping. Good trade-off for... Mm, I don't know. Okay, just, yeah, facing a ship with the auction room disconnected. Mm, I don't think they are still in Arsenal, but we'll see, I guess. I was scholarship with no shields and asteroid field, giant spiders, accept a bribe surrender offer, store repair beacon not taken over. So that's for sector 8, I would imagine. Destroy the enemy ship. Okay. Haven't got a battle for Fox 1 5 events, or you couldn't win a battle. Alright. We'll, uh,. Keep those in mind. <laughs> you think? All right, let's get to it. Um, first things first. Fire in those. And we board here, so we can. Up. Oh, the NG decided that he didn't want to have any part in this and just left. He's the smart one of the bunch. Come on back. You're getting yourselves killed over this. Oh. Double misses. Look at that. Well, the Mattis is dead. Ah, that should be enough health. Well, let's not fight in here and actually shoot. There we go. <clears throat> Should be fine now. All right. I don't think we managed to bingo anything on that one. Of course, the idea is that you don't, like, try to force this stuff out. I mean, I can easily run out of fuel if I wanted to, but... Uh, no sound. What do you mean, no sound? There should be sound. Is the game audio too low? Better? Ooh, yeah, that's... That should be slightly better, right? Well, hopefully it's a little bit better now. Um, oh, good, it's a mine launcher. Yay! Mercs are worse than rebels, if you say so, buddy. So on the bright side, we don't have to worry about uh, system damage. I mean, that's a thing. Um, brilliant move there, sports. I can only applaud that. Come on back. I 
We've got a few custom interior images, it seems. Especially piloting uh, immediately jumps to mind. That's enough health. We will not accept surrender. Alright, this should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's upgrade shields. Squeaky chairs. I really want to get to that quest <coughs> marker. Uh, sure. Okay, that'll give us some power. Hmm. You think this counts as the Beam Master? I mean, he does have something else than a beam, but it still can't hurt me. I don't think this can pierce two shield layers. I'll leave it up to chat to decide on that. Is this the beam master? <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah. Come on, slug. I thought you were better than that. Count as a beam master? I mean, it can't harm me, I think. Yeah. Alright, we'll add it to the list as a beam master then. Hey there, gaming cow. I suppose that would help, yes. Get that, get that. In the meantime, I will edit this. I just need to draw a line through this. And the wondrous things don't excel, and I really should power my... I don't think your chances of them actually ditching you is that... Amazing though. Uh, there's the Bee Master. Can I get that a little thicker, please? There we go. Now I have to save that as one. I know I don't care about transparency. Then we can go here. Properties. Browse. And there we go. Facing the Beam Master, done. Okay. Let's carry on. Uh, attempt to download, sure. I mean, he's got a missile launcher, but... Just go to your systems. We'll probably take a missile to the face. Yeah. If this were an asteroid field, you would have gotten another one. Arsenal could have a lot of things, I guess. Maybe I'm gonna look at my wonderful message. There we go. 
Okay. Boom. I've never actually had that happen though, so I guess I should count myself lucky. So I don't know what I will be facing at the quest here, so... Others probably will, because I know you, Styles, already did it. Uh, you know what? Sure. Sure. I'll get the old dual laser. Yeah, that just doubled my offense. Now I'm ready. Ish. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not an asteroid field, so it still doesn't count. Boss fights? You mean in with this ship mod? It's possible. Especially when they use drones or something. Hey! Congratulations with the internet, Alexeyev. I hope I didn't butcher that all too much. In any case... Let's go have a peep. This ship is ooh. Uh, this ship is called the um, Budge Rigar. You have the coordinates given to you by the outlaw captain. Nearby is an Act Twenty station. A small cargo ship drifting beside it. Perhaps you could engage it and rightfully take the cargo for yourself. Of course, we'll attack. Uh, and the ship comes out of nowhere to intervene. So this is pretty much like set up for you to win. I mean, you start with a teleport and you have to face two NG borders. I mean, how bad can it be? Huh? Life science technology. You ship yourself as you can from the ship. Uh, your dock near the NG cargo ship and order the NG to present their wares. You know, I think I might might go with that bomb weapon. What do you guys think? Small bomb that replicates its own ammunition. That seems pretty good. Oh, you're doing Halcyon 6 mods, cool. Still trying to get to my first playthrough. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, considering we're using a boarding strategy. Right, let's go with the small bomb. Well, don't spoil everything. Um, I mean, if you do get that infinity thing as well, then... Jeez, slug. We could get both. Mm, sounds more like something Styles would do. Hey um, <laughs> He knows what's up. Yeah, maybe I should just heal you first. Uh, 
Uh, there are quests up there. We kind of have to do them. Revenue of damage. Dilapidated space station. Appears to abandon. Like faint. Should I not get a scrap some of the debris? I'm not losing crew over this. Alright, we're gonna get boarded, we're gonna let them... Means less enemies on their ship to deal with. Mm. Let this be the first time ever that I probably set a missile weapon to auto-fire. Technically it's not a missile weapon, so... Take it as you want, I guess. It's a bit on the slower side of things. And make sure that I don't lose the slug here. Well, congrats, I guess. I don't want to lose this luck. Okay, slug safe. Uh, we can vent the entire front and... Better not lose oxygen, but... Yeah. Well, at least we can close the doors. Wait, slug, 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 slug. Come back, come back. Make sure it's like that. Okay. Alright, NG, go fix oxygen. You go to... Come on back. Alright, so you got 41 health left. I think that will allow him to survive. Yes. The suspense. Uh, leave. I think I can take damage from that and I just know the game would take my crew member away. ready with the uh, shockwave kind of got bored from it all right another qua qua quest oh why is he smoking you have the second coordinates given to you by the outlaw captain nearby is a planet with small militia and cannon spread thin scanners indicators cargo should defended by a military tech bomber you can have to grab the cargo for yourself Engage. Missile launcher. Considering you're not using your full arsenal. Okay, let's go to this room.
It's a good thing we're so great at dodging, though. <laughs> EMP missile everything. That's vague enough to work. Just waiting for a cloak to run out. Leave the slug alone. He might have done something wrong. Uh, I'm gonna lose him, aren't I? Okay, just... Is he dead? He's dead. Yep, he's dead. Well, that's what happens. Um, which means we're now also gonna lose the Rockman. That's a lot of, uh... You really got nothing better to do? It's a good thing the eye is pretty stupid. So they've just done that with the uh, slug, huh? Okay, we do have sensors, so let's go and have a look. Normal life sign, sell what you can from the ship. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, let's take the burst laser, I guess. Infinity Breach is pretty good, but let's go with this thing. Improved burst lasers and flash will get the job done. Augmented to increase its overall potency. So it's faster. What I do wonder about is whether or not um, we need to hold on to the Outlaws code. Allows to do a cargo quest, but yeah, once we've done that, it really doesn't matter anymore, I would imagine. Just probably go and fix that, huh? I was kind of wondering to what extent these weapons are randomized. It's perfectly possible that it is, but... I wonder if it's not always this setup or not. You can do both in uh, whilst making enemy ships, so... Alright, and I guess this is our final quest. Got the third corner, going to give you an... Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm guessing he can't actually get both weapons up because this is like way too early in game or something. It's a possibility. Yeah, this is the third location. Oh, so he's a thing too. Okay, did not know that. Anyway, well, there's probably somebody in there. Okay. 
wouldn't mind a fire, but... And always get what you want. Now boarding would be unwise because this fire is probably about to spread. You can try to kill this guy with small bombs. Seems that far fetched, but <laughs> I'd love to, but um... yeah, it's not gonna be easy to do. He's gonna run for Med Bay after this. I don't know if he can. He's gonna be able to fix it in time. No, he's actually staying in there. You're not the smartest rebel in the fleet, are you? That's up to you. No more life signs. Um, let's get... Shield piercing glaive. That's quite something. Um, chain burst laser 3 seems to have 4 shots. That could be kind of cool too. <laughs> I'm a fan of glaive beams, but I wonder how long it's going to take for me to actually get that online. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I guess I'll go chain burst. Completely balanced, of course. Alright, let's see. Three power. Yeah, but it has shield piercing to it, though, so... You think that would balance out somehow. Alright, we'll do... This for the time being. Here to here, here to here... We should be able to make it out without getting the fleet on our butt. And if we do get the fleet in our butt, hey, that's another thing to our bingo, right? Uh, I guess she'll be going to engines for the time being. Let's go NG. We still stand a decent chance to be able to board some peeps there. Interrupt your attempts. Okay. Yeah, I suppose so, but you'll have to ask somebody who's good at that. Ah, shite. Missile launcher. Out of all these weapons, a small bomb is actually the quickest one. That's sad. Okay, we're in. Kinda. It would be nice to, you know, dodge a missile every now and then, you know? Alright, let's see what's up, you guys. Move. To an NG, sir. Should be able to handle that. Wasn't there like a loser crew member? Ah, through an event. Okay. Burst scatter laser. <laughs> 
They didn't get very far, did they? I think for the time being I will do this. Now the reason for that is simple. It means one I get one volley of five shots every ten seconds rather than one volley of six shots every twenty. Yeah, it speeds up, but as we've seen, sitting being a sitting duck for twenty seconds is not really in our best interest. So for the time being, I'm going to do this. I'm probably keep a small bomb launcher because it is kind of useful. Um, yes. I am. Um, here, I can do the quest, but it's like stupidly close. Uh, I don't think this is the noise bombs, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Well, we can go for another bingo here if I so choose to. Of course, I get the necessary luck involved. Namely, the one for shooting down a drone. Too late for that one. This is our burst two. Let's try. Got it. Nice. <laughs> they are way too common, though. You can turn. You can make those into your center square. Ooh. Hey there, in flux. Yeah, slug died. Uh, he just got killed by a uh, crew on board an enemy ship. But the Rockman can do it on his own, I would imagine. He's a big boy. Alright, come on back. In the meantime, I will add... Um, you destroy the enemy drone projectile with your weapons. Beep. Beep. We'll save. I wonder if I save that as one, if it would immediately change it on the... ...thing as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. Sweet! Okay! Outlaw. Uh, we don't have anyone by that name. I guess we're the bad guys in that case. Alright, so what do we get here? <clears throat> you have the fourth coordinates given to you by the Alta Captain. Well, well, I know you've been with the Federation. Been with the Federation scum, and this is your final chance. You can leave in exchange for a lot of scrap or turn back and fight. What do you think? I'll leave it up to you. Leave for a good haul or fight? I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but you know, you guys could surprise me.
So I guess that's a one to one. All right, so it's one for fight, one for flight. Don't tell me I need to be the tiebreaker on this. Because if I knew the answer, I wouldn't have asked you in the first place. Well, the bright side, if we get destroyed, we can try again. <laughs> Too late now. But welcome regardless, Butt Stallion. The Diamond Encrusted Horse from Borderlands 2. Yeah, we can probably do this. It'll take some damage in the meantime, but... I don't think we're gonna get killed. Hey, I shot the weapon and suddenly they both came online. Eh? <laughs> That's a bit of a weird way to go about things, I would say. Yeah, what the hell is going on with those weapons? I'm guessing that didn't happen for you guys then? I've been hitting those weapons pretty hard and they just seem to not go offline. It's possible that they are repairing them, sure, but... That's weird. A bit lazy on the gibbs, I would imagine. So... Yeah, I'm, and I'm dead and all that jazz, so yeah, people will probably start throwing that out, but I do wonder what happened there. I have did quite a lot of damage to the weapon system, but they just didn't go down. Is Does it have, like, 20 power in weapons or something? Mm, we're gonna have to reset the bingo, I guess. There we go. We'll restart the run, but does anybody know... Has anybody ever checked out this ship? I could do it myself, but... Uh, fudge it, I'm gonna do it. Uh, no piece slug repair. Slug repair shall only fixes breaches, though, not... Uh... Let's have a look at it. Uh, let's see, that's the outlaw hauler. Slipstream mod manager... Mm, I'll make sure you guys have have vision in a second. It's fine that you managed to beat it. You could have been a two, but I'm now more interested in what the hell happened on those weapons. Uh, work map. We'll just put it here. Zip. Extract here. Um, data. I'm guessing that's tier three. No. Ah, jelly truffle. That's the one we are looking for. Where do I find enemies again? No. Auto blueprints? Here we go. Outlaw boss. Weapon power 10, yep. 
What else does it have? So the weapon seems to be normal, except for the combat one, which gets randomized by Arsenal. Uh, it starts with 30 missiles, even though it doesn't have a missile weapon. 35 power... No repair drone, what crew does it have? Five to six humans. I suppose two humans could do that, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, the bingo has been reset, and so is this run. <clears throat> Maybe we'll now manage to keep the slug on board, huh? Even though we'll immediately jam him in the teleporter yet again. Okay. Let's fight in here so we can beat up the Rockman at least a little bit before it becomes a problem. And then we can move on to here. And go after the NG, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I would imagine the bingo ends the moment you uh, end the run. We'll just be a little bit more careful with our crew. Just a little bit, though. Uh, reject the offer. Probably fire on mine as soon as ready, just because it will be another. So the burst laser fires as quickly as somebody can repair. Great. So yeah, just immediately fire like, oh, you you think you can, uh, you you think you can prevent that? Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Uh, there's a fire. Well, at least we got our hull back. So now we know, do not go after the boss unless you have something to counter 10 weapon power with. Also means we don't really have to worry about weapons all too much in the early game, knowing that we do get a decent amount of them at the start of things. You're a big new kind of Federation transport vessel. Its captain happily greets you saying they've heard about your mission. We're offered a free supply package, but for an additional fee, they can give you a bit more. What do you think? So, 10 scrap for 10 fuel, you think that counts as a good deal? For the bingo, that is. We're not attacking them because they are still loyal to the Federation just as much as we are. Yep. Right. Which means um, you get a great trade offer. Sweet. Sweet. Means I can now show you guys. Yep. There we go. Okay. So this guy can hurt me, we'll send you to weapons.
And now we can't. Cool. Nothing useful, huh? Well, we gotta keep going towards our quest markers. Driven to defend. I on drone. This might be more painful than I would want it to be. Okay, so we just had one volley. Let's see what happened. We lost one, two, three, six hull. Shields are completely gone, engines are completely gone. Yeah. Let's say things are going well. There we go. Well, I guess that's gonna be the end of this run. Um, so I'm just gonna cut it here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to support by coming, liking, and subscribing if you haven't already. Next episode, we will uh, re start this run for the second time. Anyway, bye everyone.